I'm uh, Jelle Dumane. I'm a manager of a lab in uh, Courtrai, in uh, Kortrijk, in uh, Flanders. Uh, we have a team uh, of uh, game developers and uh, psychologists and pedagogues where we, where we investigate new application fields of VR. Uh, today we're focusing on uh, culture and heritage uh, at Hoest, so the Applied University Hoest. We organize an XR Academy uh, and we focus on different topics. Uh, we go from education to healthcare and uh, culture and heritage. Yes, so we, together with Stereopsia, we're organizing one evening of uh, XR Academy, uh, focusing on culture and heritage, uh, also linked to XR for Heritage. So, and in this evening, we tried to uh, bring people, the end users uh, of culture uh, and heritage that want to in investigate their, the application of XR and uh, AR and VR in culture and in, in their job. And we try to match them with uh, the XR developers, so the, the providers of the technology. And we bring a story where we show uh, applications of, of, of uh, XR technology. Uh, we show uh, business cases and we, we show very nice use cases from Flanders and from uh, international uh, partners. Yeah, so we have some, some use cases. Uh, so we don't bring the, the, those use cases uh, ourselves. So we, we invite uh, partners, we, we invite uh, companies that build uh, nice applications for uh, heritage and museums. Uh, one is, a f um, it's, I don't know the English word, but uh, in St. Baafs in, in Ghent, there's a very nice uh, augmented reality application where you can visit the Van Eyck uh, painture, uh, painting um, with uh, augmented reality. So the augmented reality tells the, the, the story of the, of the painting and the painter. Yeah, so the, the, the dynamics in Europe, so I, I see a lot of uh, applications uh, in, in France, especially in heritage. Um, we also see some nice uh, evolutions in France uh, in uh, the hardware domain. We see the, the Lynx device. We're looking forward to work with the Lynx device. As a, as a research group, it's much easier to collaborate uh, with hardware in an, on an open source platform. So we can, we can uh, yeah, we can do what the data what we want. We can we have much more freedom, and we are not linked to uh, meta accounts or uh, other accounts. Yeah. Yeah. So in this event, we will have some some keynotes showing uh, the, the advantages of XR technology in culture and heritage. Um, after that, we have some some testimonials uh, of end users explaining what it did to their business together with the providers. So we want to bring the story, okay, if you're in culture, if you're in tourism, how do you start with a project like that and what can you expect uh, from it? Um, so the research, so the research is not really about culture and heritage, what we do for the moment. So we are focusing in our research lab, human interface te technology lab, mostly on healthcare. Uh, education and uh, Industry 4.0. Um, so we publish that uh, in applied journals, but we also um, collaborate with XR Valley to disseminate the results of our applied research because not all the re results of, of a study uh, can be published in scientific journals. So we have to bring it to the end users uh, and also bring it to the other uh, research institute in Belgium so that we don't do the same research. So we have to disseminate and communicate about our, our, our uh, uh, research. I'm one of the founders of XR Valley. And the idea of XR Valley is just to bring the, uh, all the stakeholders of XR technology together, like Stereopsia, like XR for Heritage, but also the XR providers and the research institutes, the universities and applied universities, bring them together and explore the new application fields of XR, uh, find good use cases, but more, more importantly, find the good uh, business cases, because that's really what the, what the sector needs at this moment. And that's why we, we are really glad that we can collaborate with Stereopsia, and we hope to do that in the future as well.